So the first step of the data analysis uh, process is question, clearly. Um, what are your goals? What, it, what is the community asking for? How is your strategic plan written? Um, a lot of times we take our strategic plan, we have objectives, kind of little bullet points of kind of some focus, focus points, um, and we write those into questions um, such as what is the reference, what are the reference desks, are, they, are the reference desks staffed efficiently? Um, how can we improve the teen experience in our library spaces? Um, what is the impact of removing fines on overdue materials? Things like that. So after you have the questions, then obviously you have to prioritize those questions. Um, are you, do you, the board need the report next month, um, next year, or next week? Um, you kind of plan those, and to help uh, kind of organize that, uh, we turn our big questions and break them down into smaller and smaller questions that feed up into the big picture. Next, of course, is collecting, um, and you have a few options. You can look at your existing data. Does the existing data you're collecting help you answer that question now? Um, whether it be in your ILS or vendor databases or you have existing surveys, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you need more or the, that data doesn't quite answer your, your big question, you have to collect new data. Are you writing a new survey? Do you need to look at new vendors to collect different types of data than you already have? Um, tips in this are uh, be wary of double counting. Um, there's a lot of vendors in the library world that collect the same thing. Um, so you really want to make sure if you are using two, make sure they're one to one. Um, and then if you find they're one to one, see if you don't need to use one. Because um, that'll just kind of uh, lengthen your timeline unnecessarily and it'll keep you from collecting um, different data that could, could feed up to the top. After that, you start to analyze. You're looking for patterns, trends, correlations, all that fun stuff. Um, that can help you, that can give you a sense of how, how the, the patrons in your library, how your library is behaving essentially. Um, and that's, I really encourage creativity in this analysis part. Um, there's a lot of different things you can use, different types of graphs. I can't count, tell you how many times I've had data in a bar graph and then change it to a line graph and it just clicks for whatever reason. So don't be afraid to kind of play around with all those different options until something resonates with you and you can kind of make that, make that actionable decision from it. So after you're done analyzing, of course, you need to share the data or present the data. Um, and framing context is key. Um, and this is different than bias because this is, this is what you want the audience to take away from the data. Um, it's easy to lead, lead them astray, um, but if, as long as you have that neutral data, um, you can trust that um, with the right visualization, the right, the right uh, timing, um, the audience will be able to get um, a good picture of what you're trying to say with the data. Um, visualizations, dashboards are the big hot thing. Um, and usually the conversation is, we want to create a dashboard. Um, what do we want to put in the dashboard? And you can see from this data analysis process, that is totally the backwards way of doing it. Creating the dashboard is the last piece um, you, you should be focusing on. It's good to have that as an end goal, maybe, but that shouldn't be driving um, your data collection or analysis or anything like that. 